Hey guys, this video I'm just going to show you some stuff, some art stuff that I made in uh, middle school art class that I still have. Um, I'm pretty sure all these are from middle school. There's one thing that might be from elementary, but I'm not 100% sure, but it's probably from either middle school or like 5th or 4th grade, so yeah. So the first thing I'm going to start with is this, because this is the heaviest thing. It still has some stuff in it. Like, I have emptied it. This this is always on my dresser. And at first I was just going to show you the three, like, picture things I have. But then I, I recently found one thing, and then this is just always on my dresser. I forgot I made this in middle school. But yeah, this is, um, like, made with clay, and they put in a kiln, and they, like, fired it up, and... Like, this, uh, we did, uh, the coil method, where, like, we made a circle for the base, and then we put coils, and then smoothed out each coil onto the previous layer, and just made it like this, and then I made, like, this kind of shape, I don't know, this is supposed to be a moon and a sun, and I made the moon black, so, because I wanted the stars to be, like, white, and then, so... The sun was white, and then I had to make the clouds black, because opposites and stuff. But, because I was really into opposites and stuff before. Um, but I actually got behind in this, and I couldn't glaze, like, the main part of the outside. So it does kind of look a little rough. But I still like it. Like, the inside's glazed. So the inside's all, like, kind of waterproofy, and, like, that's the main thing I want glazed. Which... I got that done, like, last minute, but, yeah, it's, like, sun, moon, stars, and I, like, outlined the stars so that they stood out more, but, yeah, I really like it, it has my name on the bottom, too, all etched into it, okay, and then, this is the thing that I'm not sure if this is middle school or elementary school, but I think it might have been middle school. <sighs> and this is just uh, a woven thing. Like, we had, like, I think it was, like, cardboard, and there were, like, strings on it, like, um, like, thread-type strings. And then we'd w go, like, under and over, under and over, over and over again until we got this thing. Oh, well, this is mine. Like, everyone's was, was different or whatever. But, yeah, I got... It is kind of dirty. I, this is the thing that I recently found. And I was like, oh, I remember that. Mm -hmm. So, I recently got this back. I, it was in probably, like... I don't know, it was just hidden in, like, a basement or whatever, probably. For, but this is pink, even though it's all, like... Pink... Like a lavender color. This is like a deep green. Uh, this is that same pink that's on the top. And then this is a blue. I did blue and green kind of fringy bit. And then I did a purple. Uh, purple? Yeah, purple, pink, blue, green. And then this bottom part is pink. And then I have these tal. What are those called? Not tallies. Tails? I don't know. I don't remember what they're called, but yeah. I really want to hang this on my wall somewhere, but I don't know um, where I'm going to hang it. I might hang it off of my, um, I have a hanging hammock over in this corner that has some, some just some random stuff in it. Uh, Gumby's up there. <laughs> I have a Gumby stuffy up, up there. Because <laughs> Gumby's cool, even though he predates me, but yeah. I've just a bunch of random stuff. Like, I have some twine up there. I have I have a lot of stuff. I have some present ribbon up there. I have a lot of stuff up there. But, yeah. This is this thing. And then the next thing. This thing is probably one of my favorite things out of all these. Besides, like, this one I really love. And I, I use it. But, like, the, the last three things are, like, pictures that I, like, drew or whatever, but this one actually got in, um, we went in, like, one of those photo labs, you know, with the develop stuff and all that stuff, and it was so cool, and, um, 
we did this. Mine is kind of finger pretty, but like this, I think either we chose like four or five random objects or we got just a random, like a couple random objects and we had to make a story with it. I called this squashing bugs because these are like giant bugs and there's cars and you could just drive over them. I don't know. That, that's what my brain went to, but um, yeah. You see the spiders missing like this leg and this leg and the spider's missing some legs and then I have had some Hot Wheels. These were Hot Wheels. And then this is just like a, one of those little plastic lizards. But like we like took pictures with this big machine thingy. And then um, and the room was all dark of course. Because that's the way photo labs are. And, um, and then there was like these like, like trays. And it had um, liquid stuff. And I think... It went into like one liquid stuff, then it went into a different liquid stuff, and then it either went back into the first one or into a separate, one, or into that another one. There was either three or four different ones. I don't remember, but yeah, this one is one of my favorites. I really like it just because of the black and white contrast. I really like like black and white photography and all that stuff. So. Anything super contrasty, I just really love, and this is like up on my dresser all the time. Like over on this 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 wall is my dresser, and it's just up there, and I see it, and then sometimes it gets knocked down and falls behind the dresser, which is kind of sad, but yeah, that's my one of my faves, and then I have this one, which is kind of all crinkly but this was like a th we had to make a 3d room and this is what I made I chose blue and green of course because I've always been into like blues and greens and what was this called the Christmas room it's called the Christmas room see there's like a Christmas tree out the window and there's a little snowman here's a bed with a weird shaped pillow and some snowflakes and then I drew a pink teen. This is supposed to be the girl with the pearl earring, but it looks really bad because I'm not a good drawer. And then this is this is little Anne, right? Yeah, a little Anne from Where the Red Fern Grows. If you ever read that book, I really like that book. It's very sad though, but yeah, I really like that book. And then I have like a dresser. Is that tree shaped knobs? Yeah, tree shaped knobs on the dresser. And then there's a door. But yeah. Like, the frame was coming off of this really bad, and to tape it, like, I re just before this video, I taped this one, and the one I'm going to show you next, like, back onto the frame. This is just, like, a solid board in the back with a picture, like, on top of it. So, it stayed pretty good, but this, this, the tape was wearing off, and it was, like, coming off the frame, so I, I taped, retaped the corners just recent, just before this video, and, yeah. So, this is my square boxy room. I really like it. I think it's pretty. And I like the, all the blue and green and stuff. So, yeah. And then this is the last one. Is this one, like, the cat kind of got into and kind of scratched over here. But this is called the Terrific Tiger. Yeah. Look at my cursor. <laughs> but yeah. See, it's kind of broken off right there too but yeah uh this is like a a board it kind of feels like like cardboard but a really dense cardboard and it even says the colors i used on the back it says tiger black and orange floor green stands lavender and sky blue and people peach. like look at how bad my handwriting used to be that was my handwriting in middle school I like improved my Henry a lot in uh, high school, but yeah. So I think this was done with wax pastels or oil pastels. I mean, oil pastels because that's what it kind of looks like. It looks kind of cr cranny, but not quite crayons. So I think these are oil pastels, which I remember not liking them <laughs> at all. I don't really like crayons that much. Uh, my favorite. Thing to draw color with is color pencils because I like the control of them and whatnot. But yeah, see, it's supposed to be like a circus thing. There's a tiger, 
Oh, look, he has a pointy chin. See, look at that pointy chin. I did a whole bunch of squiggles. I remember making all these, like, tiger-y stripes. Because I wanted to make, like, a ton of them. I wanted them to just be weird and, like, different lengths all around, around the body and stuff. I really like his pointy chin, though. Like, look at that. Look at that pointy chin. It's cute. And then, I really like the stands, too. Although the, the diamonds are not even, but... Look at all the people. Like, the circles are the people. Like, they're just people heads. But, yeah. This is the last one I have to show you. Which is a tiger. And I like all these. I think they're all really nice. And I feel like, even though I drew them forever ago, I probably would. I really like them. I probably wouldn't be any, like, better, what is, um, I probably wouldn't be any better than what I have, because I haven't practiced drawing in a long time. I do, like, paint by numbers a lot, but I don't really freehand draw anything, because I'm not really good at drawing. Like, I'm not, like, I can sculpt stuff, like, I don't know, this is the nearest thing that I have sculpted, like. And it's a little, uh, pop from, um, what was it called? Glitter Force or Pretty Cure Smile. He's cute, though. I made a little candy, too, which I gave to a friend. But, yeah. He's cute. He's on my bookshelf all the time. I like him because he has a fox tail. And it's like, I love foxes. Foxes are my spirit animal, so. Yeah, I always sit okay so yeah I, I I sculpt and I really like sculpting because it's easier for me than like drawing because I'm a terrible drawer and I like painting I usually don't like I do usually do like paint by numbers and stuff but I can paint off of reference pictures this won't be the greatest but it will be semi decent so yeah so I think my favorite of all the ones I did, well, is like this. But I really like this too. And this is functional too. Like the other stuff, the other like picture themes are just, everything else is just like, like, uh, just wall hatings or whatever. This is functional. And I really like this. And I'll probably keep this forever and then pass it on to my children when I... When I'm old. <laughs> so yeah. That's all, all the things I had to show you. And hope you have a great day. And see you in the next video. Hopefully. Bye. <laughs>